Hey guys, Zachary James Seal here with the World of Al Gore LARP. Today I want to talk about just an update, essentially. I want to first start out by thanking you all. We are at 960 subscribers, going strongly to 1,000 very soon. Thank you so much. Please keep commenting, subscribing, showing your support, sharing, all that. Really appreciate that. You might notice I haven't been posting as much lately, and I do apologize for that, but you can see I'm still active in other ways, uh, such as anytime someone comments, I'm pretty quick to reply, and keeping that community active, answering your questions, talking to you. Be more than happy to keep doing that, so Thank you so much uh, for that. If you want to catch up with me in my meantime, I do a po podcast called The Comedy Bull Podcast. Uh, it's called The Comedy Bull Podcast, your source for comedy and other bullshit. Check out the description in the links down below. Please support that. You can go on the YouTube that I have there as well to listen to the podcast and subscribe, comment, share that. Again, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you so much. If you can't get enough of me, that's where you can find me. I'll continue to, of course, upload videos on here. Uh, I just don't upload them as regularly as some people might or as actively uh, just because, you know, busy, got stuff to do, doing the podcast, uh, mostly when I'm doing the LARP itself, it's to LARP, have fun and enjoy, not film a video and take time from, you know, the actual game, so that's why that doesn't happen very much, but thank you so much guys, uh, on to the remaining of the video why I actually wanted to make this video. The main reason for making this video, I want to explain sort of why I feel like our LARP and our LARP channel is uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, of course as a small disclaimer, I'd do want to say I encourage anyone to try other LARPs. Obviously, they're not bad. Uh, and even better yet, start your own. You know, why why be an Algorian when you could be your own type of LARP? Uh, but as some of you might notice, it is hard to start your own your own LARP group and to get you know everything going and established very well. Uh, Al Gore is already here and we have all sorts of awesome rules and innovations that we'd love to share with you and love to, you know, for you to come in and do that. Uh, but again, not dissing any other LARP, we just, as our LARP channel, The World of Al Gore, we feel like we're the best and we're going to biasly uh, explain why we are. Try to get you on our team. We're, Al Gore is a super laid back group. We don't meet regularly for many reasons, uh, the most of which being we believe everything should be taken in moderation. Uh, when we, we're doing it all the time and we have gone to other groups to do all the time, we see people a lot get consumed by LARPing. And we, we at Al Gore want to make a very laid back approach to where uh, you have time for other things and don't have to feel obligated to come to our thing. We have several people come from other LARP groups that be like, man, I really was fixing to give up on LARPing or I didn't like LARPing as much as I thought until I came to your group. I just really like how laid back you guys are and all that. And that's sort of our whole point is to be a LARP group for everyone, a LARP group that makes, not forces rules on you, but gives you the options uh, to sort of do that. We, we try to make rules that don't force you to do certain things, just encourage you to, to do things. Uh, like our class system, for example, our class and armor system, uh, you don't have to wield certain weapons with certain uh, abilities, but it is strongly encouraged you do. You get extra bonuses, but you're not made to do that. And that's sort of how our whole system is made. More on our class and armor system, there is a link to a video in the description below with a lot more detail on that. Strongly recommend those videos as well if you want to get to know more about Al Gore as a whole. Uh, but we, so we try to take a laid back approach to essentially what we're saying. It's a recap of that real quick. We consider ourselves innovators in LARP. That's why it's our tagline. Uh, our innovations come in many forms. Uh, one of which is we are a boffer combat style based LARP, but we still have a lot more theatrics than a lot of other boffer style groups do in America. We have theatrics like fatalities, theatrical kills. Uh, we have a separate game type for story battles, which is nothing but story uh, straight. And we keep a lot of good balances, checks and balance systems to give it everyone the aspect people want to come in for the story aspect and a lot, what a lot of people like to do is just come in for the combat aspect and we give you options to do uh, either or or even both this which is strongly encouraged so you get the full aspect of it but again going back to before we try to make things so where you have the choice to do things and they're not forced upon you so we don't force people to come in dressed up but if you do come dressed up we give you bonuses like you know special abilities and stuff that could you know really get you into the game that aren't too strong but an extra edge up that makes it, you know, feel like, oh man, I'm glad I got dressed up. Same thing with weapons. People come in, they want to come in and play with our weapons uh, and then buy them from us, but we encourage them to make their own because it not only helps with the game, but whatever. And if they want to buy it, we give them that option as well because we don't want to force people to make something they don't. Stuff like that. And for another reason for making this video, we want to introduce two new concepts for the LARPing innovation that the World of Al Gore has done. One, we have made an achievement system. 
uh, that sort of replaces a leveling system in a lot of other LARPs. Now what we saw that a lot of other LARPs would do to encourage attendance uh, when they did have events, uh, they made a level system. You come in, you get experience by coming in and attending the event, and that levels you up, which is awesome because it makes you want to come to the event and cool. However, uh, one, we don't want to make people feel like they're obligated to come to LARP, but we also want to have that encouragement to sort of also make them want to, but not like a lot of pressure. Because we feel like a, what a lot of leveling systems do is leveling systems will encourage them to come and then if someone comes more than the other, whether you know, they were uh, able to because they just don't have, they have more free time than someone else, they become more overpowered than the other person and making that person that doesn't come very often when they come to LARP feel even more secluded because they're not as powerful as someone else or they didn't have you know they didn't have the time on their hands it's sort of like when a lot of people buy uh those microtransactions and video games with the best guns and the best blah 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 and it's like fuck you know i just play this as like a leisurely thing and now these people are beating my ass i'm not having fun even leisurely and so we don't want that so we created an achievement system that essentially if you come you're able to gain achievements now the achievements uh can get sort of complex so you know, on our website, again, listed in the description below, you can read a lot more of that in detail. However, to sort of briefly go over it in this video to get you a basic understanding and interest in it, uh, our achievement system goes something like this. We have a game, uh, several game types and different achievements that you can do, uh, one of which is called a Juggernaut. You play a game, it's like a boss battle, it is one person versus a lot of other people, uh, like normally one on five, one on ten, and you get a lot of armor points, uh, hit points, and you don't have to take damage unless you get to zero hit points. Well, the name of the game, you're allowed to, you know, get like 10, 20 hit points, but if you're able to keep majority, if not all, of your hit points by the end of the game and still win, you get an achievement. It's super hard, but, you know, still achievable, and you will get the nickname Juggernaut. So, my LARP name is Zyre. If I were to win the Juggernaut achievement, I would be Zyre the Juggernaut, Juggernaut Zyre, or just the juggernaut and I can uh, I would have that achievement which is awesome because it's a cool name it adds to the theatrical aspect it's you know really hard to achieve so it's like a you know a badge of honor type of show off however other people are allowed to come in and try to take that achievement from you I don't keep that name if I'm not at an event and someone else is at an event and takes that achievement I lose that title and they become the new juggernaut same thing with a lot of other ones uh, we have uh, a weapon called the frying pan which can't kill anyone except for uh, it's not it's made of nothing but foam it can only kill someone by hitting them in the back of the head which is obviously really hard it's a short range weapon and you know it's very hard to just get a back of the head shot uh, and if you do that you are able to do that you get the uh, achievement named fry cook so Zyre the fry cook just something silly fun we have a bunch of silly ones some serious ones um, so we have a bunch of achievement systems and if uh, I am the fry cook for instance, I have that achievement, and someone else comes on the field, and they get the fry cook. If we're both there in attendance, the old person and the new person, then I'll get to defend my honor, defend my title, and do a title match, do like a duel, and see which one uh, wins. And then there's other type of rules, like when it comes to stacking, uh, you know, when it comes to stacking the uh, achievements and stuff like that. But if you have any questions about that, please read the description on our website. The, our website description or a website link is in the description below. Before you ask any questions, just you know, research yourself. So I don't have to repeat myself or answer questions that you could have looked up yourself. But you know, if you have any more questions that that doesn't cover, feel free to message me, comment below. I'll be more than happy to help them. The second thing I want to talk about is our new system that we're fixing to start actually tomorrow, uh, which is our legendary weapon system. So. Uh, the reason why I have this big son of a bitch right here is to sort of go over this exact uh, new thing to add. So our LARP is very unique when it comes to our weapon restrictions. Now we have a lot of safety regulations just like other LARPs to make it just as safe. However, we are as lenient as possible so you can make weapons absurdly big like this. You can make things like the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, you can make Kratos' uh, axe in the new God of War game, uh, which I'm not necessarily I don't really remember what it's called, but you get the point. You can make fantasy weapons here, uh, which you can't normally do in other LARPs because there's a lot of restrictions on like size, weight, how they look, yada, 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 or as you can. So we want to also encourage not only you to do that creativity, but another benefit to making those type of weapons is they get special abilities. Now, uh, we're fixing, I don't have it yet. I was going to make it before this, uh, this video, but you know, it takes a lot of time to make good weapons. So the weapon for the God of War, the, the axe that Kratos wear, uh, the 
axe that Kratos wields is a weapon that freezes in the game. So in our game, when you, uh, when, when someone makes that weapon, it'll become a legendary weapon. Only one person can wield that. And if they throw it at someone, it will freeze them in place for five seconds. And we'll, you know, give or take, add and take time away, depending on how OP it is. And, you know, it'll take some trial and fail type of thing until we get it perfect. But th we're gonna start adding little special abilities like that. Uh, this one, for instance, is called the, it's called the BBC Big Black Cock. Did not name that myself, it is another player, but that is a name that's been adopted and we have learned it. So that's what this one is. Uh, unlike a lot of weapons, red weapons can break shields uh, with two red hits, but and then they have to drop the shield and then they're you know, a normal person. Well, this weapon is a, gonna be a legendary weapon from now on. And the legendary weapon can hit the shield, not only break it in one swing, but it will take the arm with it. So cool little power there. Uh, it's very hard to do that. It's a very heavy weapon. If you can't tell, it's very big, uh, very hard to hit swing. Um, but, uh, and then we're gonna have regulations just like we do with anything else, uh, where only certain game types will allow these special abilities. Other game types will be just a normal weapon. Um, just so it's not everywhere all at once, OP. Uh, we haven't really created the system entirely yet to where the whatever, but we're obviously gonna make it to where only certain people can wield it a number of times. They can't, everyone can't have a, uh, a legendary weapon, but I believe we will be most likely making a game type where everyone has a legendary weapon. Uh, all at once, but it won't be a regular thing. Um, so there's little things like that that we like to innovate on and do, and hopefully you, you guys have any ideas, feel free to comment below. Uh, we are thinking about making a Keyblade that has like a healing ability or something. You know, just little things like that. Uh, so fun, cool, fun stuff. And you know, we want to encourage everyone to innovate. Our mission statement actually is, and our mission statement is, I don't have it fully memorized, so duly apologize about that, but I'll be reading off this script. To constantly improve and innovate LARP, to comfortably encourage fun and creativity to the fullest extent without hindrance for each player's unique wants and needs by doing so not impeding on any other player's own level at which they want to dive into our game and overall world of Allegor. So simply put, we want to encourage people to dive into the level they feel comfortable with when it comes to LARP uh, and not impede on others. So if I want to come in and get fully dressed up I should be fully okay with that. If someone else wants to come in and not be dressed up and want to play, that should also be okay. And neither one of those should be, neither one of those players should feel obligated to do the other. So I shouldn't have to be like, oh, I can't believe I dressed up. Now I need to dress down. Or the other person, I can't believe I showed up and didn't get dressed up. I should come dress up now. Essentially dive into it at your own pace, at your own will, just so everyone can get the taste they want to and to dive as deep. Of course, we encourage you to dive as deep as possible, but if you don't want to do that, we want to make sure that that is something that you're able to do at your own pace, your own level, and to be as comfortable with it. Everyone be cool, chill, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, reverend. That's a Boy Scout motto, by the way. But no, we want, we want people to really, really enjoy themselves here, be as comfortable as they you know, uh, want to be, feel really comfortable, feel like they can do what they want to do, as long as it doesn't impede on anyone else's safety or you know, whatever, as long as you're not being a dick. Uh, just you know, real chill, real mellow, real copacetic. Uh, so yeah, we hope you guys like this video and I hope you come and want to do Al Gore, maybe start an own branch or at least come to us for any help you may need to start your own. Uh, we'd love to help you and be uh, the, for, the step forward that you take uh, into the LARP world and especially into the world of Al Gore if you're so uh, impressed by us you just want to come with us. So yeah, thank you so much guys. Oh my god, I almost forgot! Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, check out our Facebook fan page and website in the description below. Uh, while you're at it, go on the Facebook page and please like that son of a bitch, please. Uh, and then if we get to a thousand subscribers here, uh, comment something below that you want me to do, whether it's a video concept or show you my dick. Whatever you want to do, I might do it, maybe. Uh, but please also, Go into the website, uh, the description down below. Check out the Comedy Bull podcast, your source for comedy and other bullshit. Really would love the support there as well. Comment, share that, like that thing, follow, download, all that jazz. If we get 3,000 downloads by the end of the year, I'm going to get the Comedy Bull logo tattooed on me, as well as my friend who doesn't have any tattoos and hates tattoos. I have made him sign a commitment that you need to help me make him fulfill. Anyways, the world of Al Gore LARP. LARP. LARPing innovated.